Okay, so this one here is palindrome rearranging. We're given a string and we need to find out if its characters can be rearranged to form a palindrome. So the input that we're given is A, A and B, B, which can be rearranged to A, B, B, A. So the output is true. Now we don't need to actually rearrange all the characters. We just need to look at some rules. Now if all the characters, when we add them up, create a tally, but when we tally them up, if all the characters are tallied up to be even, then we know that it's a palindrome. Also, if they're all even except the one, and there's one odd, we also know that's a palindrome because that odd element or that odd character can go in the middle and then we can have all the even ones um, divided equally either side. However, if there's more than one odd, we know it's false. So using that, then these sets of rules, we can create some logic to get to our solution. First of all, we've got an input string, so we need to change that to an array. So if we do const array is equal to input string dot split. And now we need to have our tally. So if we do const tally is equal to an empty array. So now we need to create our tally. And we can do that by array dot map elements and now we need to say if um, tally element so if the element exists in the tally then we want to add one to its value so tally elements plus plus however if it doesn't exist yet, so if this is false and it doesn't exist, the element isn't in the tally, we need to sort of just add it to the tally. So we can do tally element is equal to one because there's one. And then what this will do, if we do console.log of our tally, we will have a nice little tally of the, um, of the array. So we've got two lots of A's and two lots of B's. If we go to this one here, blimey, we've got 43 A's, um, 3 B's and 4 C's. So now with this tally and looking back at our rules, what we're actually just bothered about is how many odds have we got? So in test 9, we've got two lots of odds. We've got 43 here and we've got 3 and we've got 1 even, but we know because we've got more than one odd, it's false. So we need to get these values. And how we can get them is using a for loop. So for const props in tally. And then what this will just, if we just did console.log props, this would just give us sort of A and B. But what we want is the actual value. So if we put tally, and then props in square brackets, we will get the actual value two and two. So with that, what we can do is if tally props divided by two gives us no remainders, we'll just console log this for now. So we'll console log the value. Just to make it easier to understand, I'm just going to do const value is equal to tally props. Now, if the value, I'll console log the value. Grand. Okay. So yeah, if it's divided by two, then we're gonna get the value. So for the first one, come on. Okay, for the first one, we are doing two loops. Oh no, we're not. Let's get rid of that. We don't need this one here. Run the tests. We've got, okay, so these are even. So we're doing two divided by two we're going to get no remainders, so the output's going to be zero. 
However, we are only bothered if we do get a remainder because we want to find out if it's even. We want to find out all of the odd ones. So there's no odd ones, so we're not going to get anything out of there. But I do know in 10, we did have a lot of odds, and here they all are. So every time we get an odd, this here is going to be even. But what we can do is just do, oh, we need to create a count. So if we do let odd count is equal to zero, every time we find an odd number or an odd tally, we can do odd count plus plus. So now run the tests. And let's go back down to number 10. Every time. Oh, I'm not even console logging it, am I? Console.log odd count. Every time we get an odd count, it then goes up one. And that isn't working. Oh, come on. I think that's correct. Yes. So Every time we find an odd tallied number, we're going to add one to count, and we're going to keep on adding. So for instance here, it's zero, because it hasn't done this if statement because of its even. However, now we've got one odd, so it's going to go up one, and now we've got another odd, and it's going to go up another one. But then going back to our rules, we're only bothered if there's more than one odd. So if there's two odd, why carry on doing this loop? For example, we go to test 10 and there's there's a lot of unnecessary counting. Like we don't need to do all of this. We just need to do it until we hit one. Well, until we hit two. So what we can do is if the value is greater than one, we just want to break the loop it will prevent all of this unnecessary counting. Now if we run the tests, let's go just down to test 10 and as you can see here we are still counting. If the value is greater than one, oh, if the odd count is greater than one, then break, let's go to number 10 and what we can see here is now we've gone over one it's broken the loop and we're not doing all of that counting that we don't need to do. So what we can now do is just do return um, odd count is less than or equal to 1. And that will get us our solution. Now I'll just get rid of these console logs. Make it a little bit, let's just submit it. And that there is the solution.